excellent job so far, Bob. But the mayor wants a private preview tonight. Riverdale are opening their dinosaur experience next week. She wants to be sure we've got something better. Oh, we'll be ready, Mr. Bentley. Good show. Ah! I remember building this path. Bob, it winds all the way down to the cliff. I thought we finished it. Not quite, Scoop. The mayor's decided this will be Fixum's new dino park attraction with life-size models of dinosaurs. What's a dinosaur? They were huge lizards that lived a very, very long time ago. Uh, how many dinosaurs will there be? Five. An Ankylosaurus, <gasps> an Iguanodon, a Stegosaurus, and a Pterodactyl. Uh-oh. That's only four dinosaurs, Bob. And there'll be one special Triceratops model that can move and roar. Whoa. That makes five. So, lots of dinosaurs are coming. The dinosaurs are only models. Don't be scared, Muck. I'm not scared. We need to add gates, signs, and position the dinosaur models along the route. Let's get going, team. What was that? A dinosaur. Oh no! A dinosaur! My goodness! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh fuck! Did you think I was a big yellow dinosaur? No need to be spooked, Muck. I don't think I like dinosaurs. Actually, when I was a small boy, I was a bit frightened of them too. You were scared, Leo. Do you know how I got over it? How? I pretended to roar like a dinosaur. As loud as I could, like this. <laughs> Try it, Muck. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> like that. <laughs> that sounded fierce. You feel better? A little bit. Thank you, Leo. We need some more wood chippings to finish this bath. Would you two go and fetch some? Sure, Bob. <sighs> That's the third section of the bridge deck in place. Looking good, Wendy. OK, Leo, you can start tightening the cable. Sure thing, Bob. <laughs> is supporting the bridge deck now. Thanks, Lofty. We can let go now. Shall I go and get the fourth section now? Yes, please, Lofty. And can you find out where Scoop is? He's supposed to be bringing us more cable. Right too. <laughs> Scoop? <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, hello, Lofty. Um, I'm looking at the river. Leo's been trying to frighten me with stories about fish being in there. But fish do live in rivers. Maybe in the countryside, but not in a big city river like the River Coyle. I don't think Leo would make it up. Well, once I've delivered this cable to Bob, I'm going to take another look. Just to make sure. Ooh. Thanks, Lofty. Can you take it to the end of the bridge, please? OK. <sighs> Lofty, will you be all right to wait here while Bob, Leo and I get a drink of water? Sure thing, Wendy. No problem. Thanks, Lofty. <sighs> hey, Lofty! There aren't any fish at all! Be careful of the water, Scoop. I'm not afraid of water. Look! Oh, no! Oh! Uh-oh! 
What is it? I think there's something in my rear bucket. Uh... It's a fish. Leo was right all along. Is it a big one with a gigantic mouth full of ugly teeth that spikes down its back? Well, I do like to be rude. But yes. Looks like we'll finish the bridge just in time for the race. Who do you think's gonna win? I don't know, but Sky Samson wins it most years. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to work, or there'll be no bridge to run across at all. The tree lights are going to look great, Wendy. Well, let's test them and see. <gasps> oh. Hey, Wendy. I'm about to start making the snow. Can you help me carry the bottles of fluid? Sure. I'm all finished here. Bob is here and the tree lights are twinkling. This is the perfect time to give him his Christmas present. No, 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 no. Oh, you're ruining the display. But I'm trying to find it. Lofty, you're in the way. No, it, it. Oh, where is it? Never mind, Bob's gone. I'll find it later. Come on, let's finish the display. Is there snow yet? Not yet. Once the fluid is in, the machines need to be switched on. Oh, then is there snow? Not quite. The machines churn up the fluid to make tiny white bubbles that stick together, and that makes the pretend snow. Oh. Done. Do you two want to go down and watch the snow fall over the tree? Woo I'm gonna see it snow! <laughs> I think that's a yes from Leo. <laughs> the display is almost finished and I've still not given Bob his present. We're gonna test the snow machines! Are you coming to work? Oh yeah, sure am. Um, I'll be there in a minute. Oh, Lofty, please don't mess up the display again. I won't. I'd love to give Bob his Christmas present when it's actually snowing. Where is it? are going to look great, Wendy. Well, let's test them and see. <gasps> oh. Hey, Wendy, I'm about to start making the snow. Can you help me carry the bottles of fluid? Sure. I'm all finished here. Bob is here and the tree lights are twinkling. This is the perfect time to give him his Christmas present. No, 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 no. Oh, you're ruining the display. But I'm trying to find it. I'll find it later. Come on, Bob, let's finish the display. Is there snow yet? Not yet. Once the fluid is in, the machines need to be switched on. Oh, then is there snow? Not quite. The machines churn up the fluid to make tiny white bubbles that stick together, and that makes the pretend snow. All done. Do you two want to go down and watch the snow fall over the tree? Woo-hoo! I'm gonna see it snow! 
<laughs> I think that's a yes from Leo. The display is almost finished and I've still not given Bob his present. We're gonna test the snow machines. Are you coming to work? Oh yeah, sure am. Definitely. Um, I'll be there in a minute. Oh, lovely. Please don't mess up the display again. I won't. I'd love to give Bob his Christmas present when it's actually snowing. Everyone, we need to get those penguins into their new pool as soon as possible. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Saucepan, the finest food with the best views in Spring City. Can I get you a wee bite to eat? This building, it, it appears to be moving. Exactly. It's a revolving restaurant. A magnificent miracle of mechanical engineering. Fancy a plate of haggis and neeps. Ooh, I feel sick. Oh, dear. Maybe we'd better cut short the visit and get you back to the town hall. This visit has been a complete disaster. I thought you said nothing could go wrong. Maybe he would like an ice cream. Oh, I wish that penguin pool was ready. This reminds me of the time in Patagonia. for this disgraceful, this outrageous circus. I am so sorry for this fiasco, Mayor Snipe. Rock uppers! E excuse me. Rock up the penguins! Aren't they extraordinary? So lively and full of fun. What? Yes, very nice. How did you know that I love penguins? Uh, uh, well, I... Uh... Have you played on this wonderful treat? Just for me. Thank you so much. We like to keep our visitors happy. Uh-oh. Hi, Bob. Turns out Mayor Madison's special guest really likes penguins. Oh, right. And that's why Mayor Madison has arranged for you to come back to the zoo and officially open our new penguin pool. Exactly. I'd always intended it to be the highlight of your visit. Oh, yes, please. I'd love that. Marvellous. Well, come on, everybody. What are we waiting for? 
This is the pit where the bears used to be kept. Now it's a picnic area for visitors. It's very small. Yes. And now we know more about keeping bears, we wouldn't keep them here. They need lots of room and a more natural habitat to be happy. What's a habitat? It's the surroundings where you live, Muck. Will the bear be sad if he doesn't have a nice place to live? Or will it get angry? Bears are big and fierce and live in the woods and the mountains. Ooh, I don't want to see an angry bear. Don't worry, Muck. I've got a special plan to keep the bear happy. I'll let you know how we're getting on, Jenny. It's not much of a heavy tat. It will be, Muck. We're going to build Bear Mountain. <gasps> It'll have three different levels for the bear to climb over, with a pool of water at the base for swimming and a cave for shelter. A mountain! We're going to build a mountain! Woohoo! Uh oh. Bears are strong with sharp claws, so everything has to be hard wearing. That half pipe will make the perfect cave. And we wouldn't want the bear puncturing a plastic pool liner, so we'll have a concrete one. Okay, team? Let's go! finished yet, Muck. We still need to make it look more natural. So we've ordered some trees and bushes. What's more, they'll help to stop the soil from washing away when it rains. Come on, Leo. Let's go and collect them. And I should tell Jenny how well we're doing. Scoop, you're in charge. Thanks, Bob. Just add some more rocks and soil to the top layer, but don't pile it up too high. OK, Bob. Finished. Hmm. It's not as high as I imagined. I think we should make it taller. Then it will be super impressive. Uh, we mustn't build it too high, Scoop. It's a mountain. It has to be high. But what if that's not what Bob wants? A big, fierce bear needs a big, tall mountain to be happy. Hiya, Team Bob. Is everyone in? Finishing the fitness trial? Oh, yes. yes! That's the sporting spirit! Wow! Sky Sampson, Spring City's most famous athlete and world champion! Sky will be organising the fun run. Tell me, Sky, how did you manage to break world records in running, swimming, and the egg and spoon race? Never give up! Or forget your fruits and veggies. I'm a big fan of broccoli for breakfast. Broccoli for breakfast? Yuck! Bob, can we have broccoli tomorrow? <laughs> no, Scoop. You're a machine, remember? You have a diet of diesel. Oh, that's right. All right, everyone. We've got a fitness trail to finish. <laughs> you heard it. Let's go, team! Careful, Scoop. 
sorry. I'm just excited about competing in the fun run. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, Scoop, but you're not competing. Oh, but I want to break a world record, just like Sky. I'm sorry, Scoop, but the fitness trail is only built for people. Speaking of which, could you two give me a hand with the swing bridge, please? We'll need to knot the ropes together. It's not fair. Everyone else gets to have fun in the fun run. Unless... Uh-oh. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea! Yay! Whenever you see that, something not brilliant happens. Not this time, Lofty. Guess what? We're going to have our own super fun spotting event! Diggers, dumpers and cranes, welcome to... The Muscle Machine! 